14, 15, and 18, and you even welcome or repair work in your local one-stop maintenance shop so you can count on Mr. Breaking News and follow Mr. Breaking News on Facebook to keep up with what we are doing. Back with you from the Alathus Realty broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville as we get set for the 28th all-time women's basketball meeting between these two institutions of higher learning. And now the starters first for our guests from Durant, Oklahoma, the Southeastern Oklahoma State Savage Storm, 4-15 and 15 overall, 2-12 and 12 in the Great American Conference. Darren Grover is in his 18th season as the Southeastern head coach. His record is 264 and 225. Starting at the guards, Grace Alverson, a 5'5 sophomore from Argyle, Texas, 6.2 points, 2.4 rebounds. Lauren Scalise, a 5'8 freshman from Bethany, Oklahoma, 2.4 points, 0.8 rebounds. Briley Moon, a 5'6 senior from Martins Mill, Texas, 16.6 points, 6.4 rebounds, 2.6 assists, and 1.8 steals. And Abby Barr, a 5'7 freshman from Decatur, Texas, 4 points and 2.2 rebounds. The forward for Southeastern Oklahoma State is Caitlin Kabiski, a 5'10 sophomore from Keller, Texas, 14.9 points, 7.1 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. Now the starters for the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns, 12 and 6 overall and 10 and 4 in the Great American Conference. They are coached by Dave Wilbers, who is 340 and 114 in 16 seasons as the Arkansas Tech head women's basketball coach. Brad Palmer is the assistant coach. Bailey Smith is the student assistant. Starting at the guards, Kaylee Shipman, a 5'7 junior from Mountain View, 12.9 points. 3.1 rebounds, 2.1 assists. Claudia Bridges, 5'4 freshman, Fayetteville, 5.5 points, 1.4 rebounds, 2.1 assists. Jaylee Oglesby, a 5'8 sophomore from Howe, Oklahoma, 19.3 points, 8.2 rebounds, 1.9 assists. And Alex Hill, a 5'10 sophomore from Harrison, 8.9 points, 3.8 rebounds, 1.6 steals, the forward for Arkansas Tech is Dana Thompson, a 6'1 sophomore from Miami, Florida. Thompson averaging 7.4 points and 6.6 .6 rebounds. The Golden Suns lead the all-time series between these two programs. 15-12 earlier this season in Durant, Arkansas Tech defeated Southeastern 57-38. The Golden Suns held the Savage Storm to 25% shooting from the floor, including 2 out of 19 from three-point range in that ball game for Southeastern Oklahoma State. The Savage Storm, though, overall has had the upper hand as of late in this series. Southeastern has won six of the last eight meetings, including an almost unprecedented four consecutive road wins here at Tucker Coliseum over the Golden Suns. The last time the Golden Suns defeated Southeastern here at Tucker Coliseum, it was a 67-65 Arkansas Tech victory back on January the 25th of 2018. And on that occasion, a freshman guard from Pine Bluff by the name of Jayana Sanders had 19 points to lead the Golden Suns to victory. It's Arkansas Tech and Southeastern Oklahoma State from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. If you're in the area, come on out and join us for a great afternoon of great American Conference basketball. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we will step aside for three minutes and then come back with the opening tip. This is Golden Suns basketball.
CC Children's Academy is currently enrolling with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650, ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. Folks in Arkansas need to know that you can and should take a minute not only to thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family full house support. Our great clients here at Arkansas Family Money and personal recommendations with friends and family is appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to their business, but vital to making our community a better place to visit. From their family to yours, thank you. From Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. you start talking to better people in a better way for them, the better things are going to work for you. Imagine the kind of person you'd be with a person like that, someone who genuinely cares about you and your family, and is passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of Better You and the Burke Group at the Better Way Bank. We want your business to take the lead in your relationship. Discover what it could mean if you part and then use Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see you in person. Better Way Realty, real estate managed the better way. Taking care of the family. That's what the folks at CMB Drugstore have been doing in the historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades. Thanks to all your pharmaceutical needs, when it comes to compounding or special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, you can reach curbside pickup. You need to visit CMB Drugstore on the corner of Midland Commerce in downtown Russellville at 16th Street in Midland. KCJC Dark Elmer. <laughs> Back with you at the Alathus Realty broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville as we get ready for a great American Conference women's basketball between Arkansas Tech and Southeastern Oklahoma State. Two players in this game have a chance to achieve some significant milestones today. For Arkansas Tech, Kaylee Shipman needs just 17 points to move into 20th place on the all-time scoring list at Arkansas Tech. When Kaylee scores her 17th point of either today or next week on the road trip, she will surpass Kelly Mullen, perhaps the toughest and hardest working Golden Sun of all time, who literally willed the Golden Suns to a national runner-up finish with only six healthy players in the regular rotation back in the 1998-99 season. Kelly was named to the All Elite Eight team in helping the Golden Suns reach that national championship game. She finished with 1,295 career points, which right now ranks 20th in school history and Kaylee Shipman comes in today with 1,279 career points, and so we'll get a chance to celebrate that milestone, if not today, sometime very soon. And then for Southeastern Oklahoma State, Briley Moon comes in with a career total of 1,620 points. She needs 29 points to move past Katie Webb and move into second place on the Southeastern Oklahoma State all-time scoring list. And Kelly, when you talk about Kaylee Shipman, and of Arkansas Tech and Briley Moon of Southeastern Oklahoma State. Those are two of the best scorers from this era, not only this era of Great American Conference women's basketball, but throughout the relatively brief history of this conference. Few people have done it better than Kaylee and Briley. Yeah, congratulations to both of those players. And, and not, not as much as their accomplishments on the court, but they're a class act off the court as well. So uh, let's see if them two can duel it out today. And I don't know, let's root for both of them to uh, reach those milestones. What do you think? I'll root for Briley to reach hers next week. How about that? Right, well, that'd be okay. <laughs> the Golden Suns will wear the home white uniforms trimmed in dark green and gold. Southeastern Oklahoma State wearing anthracite road uniforms trimmed in blue and gold. And it is time for basketball at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Dana Thompson against Caitlin Kabisky for the opening tip. It is controlled by Southeastern Oklahoma State. And Briley Moon will get the Savage Storm into its offense. The Southeastern Oklahoma State team really struggling, scoring the basketball as of late, averaging just 52.5 points per game during their current eight-game losing streak. Right side, Grace Alverson with the basketball, dribbles to the baseline, bounces it out to Briley Moon. Moon kicks it back out, right elbow for Kabisky. Kabisky drives, goes in for the left-handed layup try, and it is deflected away out of bounds by Dana Thompson of Arkansas Tech. Southeastern will maintain possession with five on the shot clock. The Savage Storm have two really skilled scorers in Briley Moon and Caitlin Kabisky. They've just 
not been able to have that third consistent scorer to go with them because of all of their injury problems. Kubisky tries with the left hand, no good, gets her own rebound, goes back to the rim, misses again, and draws a foul against Arkansas Tech's Dana Thompson, and that's going to draw a protest from Dave Wilbers, the head women's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech, as the official on the baseline did not make a call there. Kubisky hit the deck very hard, but the official on the baseline looking right at it did not blow his whistle. It was the official out deep on the wing who called the foul on Dana Thompson. Thompson's first, the team's first, and Caitlin Kubisky to the free throw line where she is an 81% shooter this year, and that ranks eighth in the Great American Conference. Kubisky misses the first one. She'll have another try. Kubisky also eighth in the league in scoring, tied for eighth in the GAC in rebounding, and she's seventh in the conference in field goal percentage. She's reached double figures in scoring 16 of 19 games this year for Southeastern, including 12 in a row. She had 12 points and six rebounds in their 62 to 34 loss at Harding on Thursday. She missed the first one, made the second one, 9-19 to go in the first quarter. Southeastern leads one to nothing. Right wing Kaylee Shipman on the dribble. Gives it up inside the post for Dana Thompson. Turnaround jumper from eight feet, spins out, and the defensive rebound cleared by Briley Moon. Moon brings it up for the Savage Storm, gives right wing to Grace Alverson, her sister Amy Alverson, one of five Savage Storm players out for the season with injuries. And so it has just been one of those years for Southeastern, a three-pointer on the way and good for Lauren Scalise. Scalise scores from left of center at the top of the key. Just her ninth three-pointer of the season, 8.47 to go in the first quarter. And Southeastern has an early 4 to nothing lead. Claudia Bridges bounce pass to the left wing for Kaylee Shipman. She drives, draws three defenders, bounces it out to Bridges. Bridges shoots and scores. A 15-footer from the left wing for Claudia Bridges. She has the first two points of the game for Arkansas Tech. And Southeastern back to work offensively. Right wing, Grace Alverson. They reverse it left side for Scalise. Now they feed it on the baseline for Alverson. Back out left side, long two-pointer on the way and no good for Abby Barr. Barr did not score against Harding on Thursday. Defensive rebound, Arkansas Tech. Into the front court, Dana Thompson. Hands it off to Oglesby. Oglesby kicks it out to Bridges. Southeastern Oklahoma State face guarding Jaylee Oglesby in the early going. They limited her to a season low six points when these two teams met in Durant back in early January. Running bank shot by Hill wouldn't go. Offensive rebound, Dana Thompson. Throws it out to Claudia Bridges. Right now it's Grace Alverson with the defensive assignment on Jaylee Oglesby. Drive by Shipman, draws three defenders. Out to Hill for three. It is short from the left wing. Offensive rebound, weak side. Dana Thompson feeds Oglesby. Oglesby got fouled. Blocking foul on Southeastern Oklahoma State will send Jaylee Oglesby to the A Better Way Realty free throw line for two shots. It is the first team foul on the Savage Storm. The personal foul is assessed to Abby Barr. And to the A Better Way Realty free throw line goes Jaylee Oglesby. She is a 76% free throw shooter this year. The first one is up and good for Jaylee. Yeah, Jay Barr, Barr got that foul. She didn't give Jaylee a chance to come back down. Got to give her a little space to return to the floor. Jaylee got them both. 7.38 to go in the first quarter. And the score is tied at four on Jaylee Oglesby's first two points of the game. Top of the key, Briley Moon with it for Southeastern. Gives left side for Scalise. Three-pointer is off target. Offensive rebound, Kubisky. She puts it home. Caitlin Kubisky with the offensive rebound and the second chance points. 7.21 to go in the first. Southeastern back in front, 6-4. to four. Right wing, Jaylee Oglesby. The third leading scorer in the GAC this year at 19.3 points per game. Gives it up to Alex Hill. Cross-court pass for Bridges. Open look at three. It rims out no good. Defensive rebound by Abby Barr. It's obvious the Golden Suns are going to get some open looks at some threes because of the double teams and the triple teams that Southeastern is applying in the post. Arkansas Tech's going to have to take advantage of that. Meanwhile, Scalise scores again for Southeastern, and the Savage Storm leads 8-4 to four on Scalise's 8-foot runner in the lane. Top of the key, Kaylee Shipman. Shipman feeds it into the post for Dana Thompson. Thompson goes to the left side of the lane, puts up a bank shot, no good, cleared for Southeastern by Abby Barr. Barr looks down floor, finds Scalise, Scalise down the baseline, shot blocked by Dana Thompson, offensive rebound, Kabisky, a held ball between Kabisky and Dana Thompson. The possession arrow favors Arkansas Tech. Golden Suns get it back, and the, uh, Arkansas Tech trying to find the range offensively. The Suns just one of six from the field so far, including 0 for 2 from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. Yeah, they've been open shots, so just missing them right now. Just keep taking them. They'll go in eventually. The Suns second in the league in scoring at 71.7 .7 points per game, fifth in the league in field goal percentage at over 41%. But Arkansas Tech has not been a good three-point shooting team this year, and that's the reason 
Coach Grover is employing this defensive strategy. 15-foot jumper up and good for Jaylee Oglesby. Oglesby has four points. She's averaging 21.3 points and 10 rebounds per game over her last seven. It is one of the most impressive stretches that I've seen in over 30 years of watching the Golden Suns. Drive by Kabiski, throws it away, steal by Alex Hill. Hill leads a three-on-two fast break, gives to Oglesby, jump shot good, right elbow again for Jaylee, back-to-back -back shots from there, and she has tied the score at eight with 5.47 to go in the opening quarter. She's giving her that wide open eight-foot shot. In the lane, Kabiski drives, right-handed scoop shot up and good for Kabiski. Kabiski has five points for the Savage Storm. They lead it 10 to eight with 5.32 to go in the opening quarter. Find an answer for that. Shipman passes left wing for Alex Hill. Hill defended by Briley Moon. Jab step left, dribbles right, hands it off to Oglesby. Oglesby defended by Grace Alverson, hands it off to Shipman. Back to Jaylee, left elbow jumper this time. Good from there too. Jaylee Oglesby, three out of three from the field. She's got eight points, 5-11 to go in the quarter. And the Suns have tied it at 10. It is our third tie so far. Feed on the left side. For Abby Barr, she'll try a long two-pointer, short. Defensive rebound, Dana Thompson. Ahead for Claudia Bridges. Bridges driving the right side, gets into the painted area, gets all the way to the gold and circles back out, gives to Oglesby. This one is short from 15 feet on the right wing, and Grace Alverson has the defensive rebound for Southeastern Oklahoma State. Into the front court on the dribble comes Abby Barr. A week ago against Henderson State, Barr had 11 points and a season-high eight rebounds. It was the third time this season that Barr had reached double figures in scoring. She's defended by Claudia Bridges, pass deflected by Bridges, stolen by Oglesby, two on two the other way. Jaylee gets fouled in transition, and the Golden Suns will have the basketball when we come back from the media timeout. The foul on Southeastern Oklahoma State is team foul number two, 4.28 to go in the first quarter. Arkansas Tech and Southeastern Oklahoma State tied at 10 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball. Tied at 10, 428 to go in the first. And Kelly, I mentioned that Southeastern held Jaylee Oglesby to six points in the first meeting between these two teams. And it was a season low. The only time she's been held out of double figures all year long. And based on the way she started here today, I don't think she appreciated that one bit at all. No, it looks like they may try to start doing the double team again 15, here before too long. 15-foot jumper. This one short, a little off platform that time. And Grace Alverson gets the defensive rebound for Southeastern Oklahoma State following the Jaylee Oglesby miss. On the other end, Alverson tries a three. It is short. Defensive rebound, Jaylee Oglesby. She leads a three on four the other way. Leaves it with the trailer. Shipman for three. It's good. Kaylee Shipman with the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer from the top of the key. Her 148th career three-pointer, eighth most in Golden Suns history. And it gives Arkansas Tech a 13-10 lead with 3.53 to play in the opening quarter. Three-point try on the way and no good for Lauren Scalise. Defensive rebound, Jaylee Oglesby. In for the Suns, Jackie Rollins, 5'9", freshman guard, Mustang, Oklahoma, 1.7 points per game. Clara Grace Prater, 5'10", sophomore guard, Bologna, 3.4 points per game. And Julie Wagner, 6'2", sophomore forward, Humboldt, Tennessee, 2.6 points, 4.7 rebounds per game. Rollins with 11 on the timer, gives left wing to Clara Grace Prater. Prater dribbles right. Kabiski hedges on the screen, forces Prater to go back left. She misses from 10 feet in the lane. Offensive rebound, Wagner out to Kaylee for a deep three. It is no good. Coach Wilbur's looking for a foul. Offensive rebound, Prater. Put back try, no good. Clara Grace fights for another offensive rebound, but it's poked away out of bounds by Lauren Scalise, and the Golden Suns will maintain possession. Coach Wilbur's asking why in the world there wasn't a foul there when Kaylee Shipman got knocked to the floor on that three-point try a moment ago. 
inbound pass will be made to the Golden Suns by Jackie Rollins. In for Southeastern is Allie Buchanan, a 6'1 freshman forward from Lake Dallas, Texas. She averages 0.2 points and 0.8 rebounds per game. Inbound pass for Oglesby, stripped away from her on the baseline and stolen by Briley Moon. Savage Storm the other way. Also in for Southeastern is Lauren Beeson, a 5'11 sophomore guard from Lexington, Oklahoma. She averages 3.2 points and 3.3 rebounds. Layup try, no good for Southeastern's Briley Moon. Offensive rebound, though, out to Beeson for a three-point try. It's no good, and Jaylee Oglesby has her fourth rebound for Arkansas Tech. Into the front court, running jumper in the lane, up and good for Jaylee Oglesby. Ten points for the sophomore from Howe, Oklahoma. 2.37 to go in the opening quarter, and Arkansas Tech on a 7-0 run leads it 15-10. Southeastern trying to break a string of five consecutive missed field goal tries. Savage Storm has missed six of its last seven. They haven't scored in more than three minutes. Right corner with the basketball. It is Macy Bookout. Bookout drives the baseline, tries a reverse layup. It is no good. Rebound, loose in the paint, and it's going to result in a foul against Southeastern Oklahoma State. Jackie Rollins had position to get that rebound and then was pushed to the floor by an off-balance Alley Buchanan. It is Buchanan's first. It is team foul number three on Southeastern. And the basketball belongs to the Golden Suns. Into the front court on the dribble, Jackie Rollins. Rollins had two points, one rebound, no assists, and matched her season high with two steals against East Central on Thursday. Frater tries a three, no good. Defensive rebound for Southeastern by Macy Bookout, a 5'6 sophomore guard from Royce City, Texas. Bookout averages 1.4 points, 1.1 rebounds. Foul on the Golden Suns as Briley Moon dribbled left. She was bumped by Clara Grace Prater. It is Prater's first. Team foul number two. Suns will make two more changes as Julie Wagner checks out, along with Jaylee Ogles. The end for the Golden Suns are Marta Duda, a 6'2 sophomore forward from Poland. Duda averages 2.2 points, 2.5 rebounds. Also in is Kaylee Wyrick, a 5'8 freshman guard from Piercy, 5.9 points per game. Layup try, no good for Moon. Defensive rebound, Kaylee Shipman of Arkansas Tech. Ahead for Rollins, Jackie into the lane, and as she went to make a spin move into the painted area. She was fouled by Macy Bookout. Bookout's first is the team's fourth, and with a minute 33 to go in the opening quarter, and Arkansas Tech leading 15 to 10, Jackie Rollins will make the inbound pass for the Golden Suns. Good move by Jackie, a good aggressive move to the basket. Suns leading despite the fact that they're only six of 17 from the floor, 35%. Foul on the inbound play against Southeastern, and this will be the fifth team foul and thus free throws for Arkansas Tech at the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Team foul number five, and Clara Grace Prater to the line. That foul on Alverson. Clara Grace, 21 of 28, 75% at the free throw line so far this year. No, I'm Here, sorry, it was not. No, the official stats have it on Grace Alverson. Both free throws good for Clara Grace. Huh, for, I just hadn't posted it. For now, we'll go, with, we'll go with that foul being on Grace Alverson until we find out otherwise. Both free throws good for Clara Grace Prater. That increases the Arkansas Tech lead to 17 to 10. Spin move, book out, fadeaway jumper. Got a friendly bounce off the iron and through for Macy Bookout. A, a shot. A minute 18 left in the first. 17 to 12 Arkansas Tech as Bookout gets her first two points for Southeastern. Wyrick dribbles left, stops inside the top of the key, misses an 18 foot jumper off the dribble. Defensive rebound by Grace Alverson of Southeastern Oklahoma State. Into the front court for Lauren Beeson. Beeson appearing in her 50th game for the Savage Storm today. Pivoting around. Kaylee Shipsman not giving any ground. So the pass goes out to Buchanan. Buchanan's pass deflected and stolen by Clara Grace Prater. Ahead to Duda on the fast break. Marta misses the layup. Rebound is saved in by Prater to Wyrick. What a play by Prater. Now the Golden Suns get a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Good effort. Kaylee Shipsman goes right. Gets a pick from Duda. Now goes back to her left. Down the left side of the paint, scoops it out, and it's stolen by Briley Moon. Turnover for Arkansas Tech is its second of the opening period. And now Southeastern can hold for the final shot of the quarter with Arkansas Tech leading by five. Briley Moon held scoreless so far in this first quarter, came into the day as the fourth leading scorer in the conference at 16.6 points per game. She had 18 points and five rebounds against Harding on Thursday. 
Moon drives the right baseline, cut off by two defenders, throws it out for Beeson, onto the top of the key, three-point try. Alverson at the buzzer is no good, and that's the end of the first quarter. After 10 minutes in Russellville, the score is Arkansas Tech 17 and Southeastern Oklahoma State 12. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Golden Suns Basketball. Arkansas Tech, 6 of 19, 32% from the floor in that first quarter, including one out of five from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. The Golden Suns, a perfect four out of four at the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Southeastern, five of 18 from the field, 28%, one of six from three-point, one of two from the free throw line. The Suns out-rebounding the Savage Storm, 16 to 10 so far, and the Golden Suns plus one on the turnover margin. You know what, get both teams that first quarter. Give them a lot of credit. They have, they've had good ball moving on the offensive end, trying to get some open shots. Southeastern Oklahoma State with the basketball to begin the second quarter. Gracie Alverson, or, or uh, Grace Alverson, I should say, passes top of the key for Macy Bookout. Now they swing it for Beeson on to Bookout. Shot clock at 15. Bookout throws cross court for Lauren Beeson. She sees a seam drive. Shot blocked by Oglesby. It goes out of bounds. Last touched by Beeson. And the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. Nice defensive recovery there by Jaylee Oglesby to prevent the Beeson layup. Claudia Bridges, Alex Hill, Jaylee Oglesby, Marta Duda, and Clara Grace Prater begin the second quarter for Arkansas Tech. Oglesby dribbles left. Two defenders on her. She picks up the dribble, throws it out to Bridges. Bridges fakes a three, dribbles left. Now tries a three. It is short. And Lauren Beeson has the defensive rebound for Southeastern Oklahoma State. Ahead to Briley Moon. Moon defended by Alex Hill, takes her down to the right block, dribbles into the painted area, and a blocking foul is called against Arkansas Tech's Alex Hill. Her first is team foul number one, and Briley Moon will make the inbound pass for Southeastern Oklahoma State. In for the Savage Storm is Lauren Scalise. She replaces Grace Alverson. Now Moon set to trigger it in for the Savage Storm. Threw it off the back of Duda, got the basketball, did Moon. Double teamed in the post, dribbles out to the right wing and gives it up to Lauren Beeson. Shot clock at 13, cross-court pass for Scalise. Now Kabiski with it, Caitlin Kabiski spin move in the lane and a blocking foul called against Arkansas Tech's Clara Grace Prater on the shot. Prater's second is the team's second of the second quarter. And it'll be two shots at the free throw line for Caitlin Kabiski. Kabiski one out of two at the free throw line so far today. She has five points, two rebounds and an assist. Marta Duda is out for the Suns, replaced by Dana Thompson. First free throw try for Kabiski on its way and no good. Little help from the pep band there, get that miss. Kabiski had 15 points and 10 rebounds in the first meeting between these two teams back on January the 5th. One of four double-doubles she has recorded this year. She misses both free throws, Golden Suns board it, take it the other way. Alex Hill right, or I should say left elbow, tries to drive, stripped loose by Briley Moon and stolen by Lauren Beeson. Arkansas Tech with its third turnover. The two sides are now even in that regard. Briley Moon defended by Alex Hill. Takes her down the baseline all the way into the paint. Shot blocked by Hill. Moon able to get her own rebound. Gives to Bookout. Bookout tries a five-footer in the paint, and it's up and good for Macy Bookout. Bookout with four points. She scores the first two points of the second quarter and cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 17 to 14. Oglesby's gonna try a three. It's no good from the right wing. Defensive rebound, Briley Moon of Southeastern Oklahoma State. Moon looking down floor, nothing there. 
Gives it up on the left side now for Kubiski. Right back to Moon. She steps back for three. It is no good. Rebound, Arkansas Tech. Claudia Bridges with the carom. The Golden Suns are plus seven on the glass. Bridges goes to the left baseline. Cut off there by Bookout. Brings it back out to the top of the key. Pass right wing for Prater. Clara Grace dribbles to the top. Now penetrates. Lost the handle. Stolen by Lauren Beeson. Golden Suns dribbling too much and not passing enough. Yes, correct. Into the front court, Scalise. Scalise cut off on her drive by Jaylee Oglesby. Ball goes out to Beeson. Beeson drives, draws the foul. I believe they've got Clara Grace again. If they do, that'll be her third. It is team foul number three of this quarter. It's like those Claire's getting a little tic tac -y foul. That is the third foul on Freighter. She checks out, replaced by Kaylee Shipman. So it's Shipman, Claudia Bridges, Dana Thompson, Alex Hill, and Jaylee Oglesby, the five on the floor of the Golden Suns. The inbound pass for Southeastern, Briley Moon. Gets it in right wing for Beeson, three-pointer on the way, short. Defensive rebound, Alex Hill. Hill will bring it up for the Golden Suns. Goes to the top of the key, looks right wing, feeds for Bridges. Bridges, jab step, dribbles left into the paint. No look, pass over her head to Thompson, and Dana Thompson on the shot from the right block is fouled by Caitlin Kubiski. What a feed by Claudia Bridges to set up that foul. Beautiful no-look pass. Back over her shoulder. Now Claudia and Kaylee enjoy a laugh about that as Dana Thompson steps to the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Arkansas Tech. First try for Dana on its way and good. Thompson a 42% free throw shooter on the year. Dana had eight points and four rebounds against East Central on Thursday. That one looked good. Thompson averaging 8.7 points and seven rebounds per game over her last three. She misses the second one, and Briley Moon has the defensive rebound. 7.23 to go second quarter. Arkansas Tech leads 18 to 14. Moon backs Hill down into the paint as she's wont to do. Throws it out right wing for Scalise. Three-pointer is off target, and it's cleared for Arkansas Tech by Alex Hill. Ahead on the fast break, too far in front of Kaylee Shipman, and the Golden Suns give the basketball away for the fifth time. Three of those have come in the first two minutes and 54 seconds of the second quarter. Good idea, just didn't work. It'll be Grace Alverson to bring it into the front court for Southeastern Oklahoma State. Pass to the left side for Beeson. Now it's Kabisky with it. Bounce pass on the baseline for Briley Moon. Moon zips it out to Kabisky. Long two-point jumper is good from the left wing for Kabisky. She's got seven first-half points. 6.45 to go in the second quarter. And the Arkansas Tech lead is down to two as Arkansas Tech has yet to make a field goal here in the second quarter. 0 for 2 with three turnovers. Drive by Oglesby, and she ends that drought. Oglesby, the runner down the right side of the lane. Coach Wilbers thought it should have been an and-one opportunity for Jaylee, but no call was made. 12 first-half points for Oglesby, and now a three-pointer on the other end by Grace Alverson of Southeastern Oklahoma State. Her first three-pointer of the day, her first three points of the game, and it cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 20-19. to Jaylee Oglesby dribbles at the free-throw line, draws three defenders, passes out to Bridges. Bridges drives and takes it to the top of the key. Now kicks it out right side for Shipman. Kaylee wants to go baseline. Cut off by Alverson. Gives it back to Bridges. Nine on the shot clock. Claudia dribbles to her left. Gets a pick from Dana Thompson. Now Bridges drives the left side of the lane. Two to shoot. Throws it out to Shipman. Catches and fires after the shot clock had expired. And it's another turnover for the Golden Suns. That's six turnovers, four of them, in the first four minutes and 11 seconds of this second quarter. Pretty good defense that time. Caused them to have to rush that shot late. Grace Alverson will bring it into the front court. Alverson came in just 2 of 12 from the field over her last two. She had two points and two rebounds when these two teams met in the Magnolia capital of Oklahoma, Durant, back on January the 5th. Moon backs Hill down, throws it out for Scalise. Three-pointer no good. Defensive rebound, Jaylee Oglesby of Arkansas Tech. Four on three the other way. Pass to Kaylee for three. It is short from the right wing. Rebound out of bounds, and it will belong to southeastern Oklahoma State. Boy, Dan got away with another. Dana. Dana knocked the ball off a of southeast player, and they still give it to him. For southeastern, Lauren Beeson is out. The five on the floor now for the Savage Storm. Grace Alverson, Macy Bookout, Briley Moon, Caitlin Kabiski and Lauren Scalise. For the Suns, it's Oglesby, Shipman, Bridges, Thompson, and Haley Wyrick just checked in in place of Alex Hill. Moon, now defended by Bridges, takes her to the rim, misses the layup. Claudia Bridges able to get the defensive rebound. Suns the other way, up by one, midway through the second quarter. 
Claudia drives the right side of the lane. Dishes out left side for Wyrick. 12-foot jumper is good from the left side for Haley Wyrick. Boy, it would be great to see Haley rediscover the confidence in her jump shot. She gives the Suns a 22-19 lead. That's a good start right there. Now for the key, Grace Alverson. Zips it down low. It's Briley Moon with the ball, surrounded by Golden Suns. Shovels it out to Alverson. She misses the three. Defensive rebound, Jaylee Oglesby, her sixth rebound. Ahead to Wyrick, passed up a three. Drives, dishes for Thompson, layup, up and good. A great job there by Haley Wyrick to drive, draw the defense, and set up Dana Thompson for the wide open layup. Dana's first field goal, she's got three points, and the Suns lead by five, 24 to 19. Now a post-entry feed is stolen by Dana Thompson. Outlet pass for Jaylee Oglesby, ahead to Wyrick. Haley drives into the lane, runner is up and there you good. Go. There you Haley go. Wyrick with four points off the bench for the Golden Suns and timeout taken by Southeastern Oklahoma State. 4.08 to go in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 26, Southeastern Oklahoma State 19 at the Alephus Realty broadcast position. We pause for one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball. The radio audience will rejoin us momentarily. We'll go ahead and provide the play-by-play -play for our video audience. Southeastern Oklahoma State with the basketball. Four minutes to go in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech leading 26 to 19. Bead on the left baseline. Layup up and good for Macy Bookout of Southeastern Oklahoma State. Bookout with six first half points. For Macy Bookout, that is just four away from matching her season and career high. 345 to go until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. Arkansas Tech leads 26 to 21. Haley Wyrick dribbles right, stripped away from her. Wyrick gets the loose ball back, gives to Oglesby, 14-foot jumper off to the right, and too strong. Sarah Edmondson is in the game for the Suns. She gets the offensive rebound. Feed Shipman back to Oglesby in the lane. Oglesby misses from 12 feet in the lane. And then on the rebound, a whistle and a foul. Our radio audience rejoins us. Three minutes and 21 seconds to go in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech leading 26 to 21. Jaylee Oglesby called for the foul, trying to get an offensive rebound. While the radio audience was away, Southeastern Oklahoma State scored two points on a layup by Macy Bookout. Glad to have you back. Left side, Lauren Scalise with it on the left wing, defended by Kaylee Shipman. Hands it off on the baseline. Drive there by Kabiski. Shovels it out to Alverson for three. It's off to the left, no good. Rebound tipped out by Edmondson. We'll get her properly introduced in a moment. Offensive rebound, though, for Southeastern. Drive by Moon. Shot blocked out of bounds by Jackie Rollins. And Southeastern will maintain possession with 15 on the shot clock and 2.56 left in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech leading 26-21. to Inbound pass for Kabiski. Hands it off to Moon. And a traveling violation against Briley Moon. Fifth turnover for Southeastern Oklahoma State. The five for Arkansas Tech are Kaylee Shipman, Jackie Rollins, Haley Wyrick, Jaylee Oglesby and Sarah Edmondson. Edm Edmondson is a six-foot freshman forward from Flower Mound, Texas, averaging 2.2 points and 2.8 rebounds per game. She has it inside the top of the key. Ball goes right wing to Wyrick. Haley fakes the three, dribbles left, passes out front for Rollins. Rollins penetrates, runs over the defender, offensive foul. Jackie Rollins picks up the offensive foul. Caitlin Kabiski took the charge for Southeastern. The foul on... Jackie Rollins is her first personal foul. Team foul number five due to the nature of the foul. No free throws for Southeastern, but the Savage Storm now is in the bonus for the final two and a half minutes of the quarter. Three-pointer good from the right side by Briley Moon. Moon, a career 42% three-point shooter with her 251st 
career three-pointer, her first of today's game. She had missed her first seven tries from the field in this one, but that three-pointer cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 26-24. to Drive by Kaylee Shipman, throws it out to Oglesby, on to Wyrick now, fakes a three, left-handed dribble drive, shoots over the defender and scores there over Kaminsky. Go. Haley Wyrick able to score, now Jackie Rollins steals the outlet pass as Southeastern comes the other way. And it goes out of bounds, deflected by Rollins. She had it for an instant, just couldn't quite get both hands around it. The bucket by Arkansas Tech's Haley Wyrick a moment ago, the long two-pointer, makes it 28-24 to Golden Suns. Now exactly two minutes to go in the half. Now the officials checking to see where the shot clock should be. They are going to say that it was a change of possession, so Southeastern yep. will get a full 30. Claudia Bridges, Jaylee Oglesby, Haley Wyrick, Kaylee Shipman, and Sarah Edmondson, the five for Arkansas Tech. Suns up by four. Sparked here in this second quarter by Haley Wyrick, who is three of four from the field, and she has six points, and it's great to see Haley getting it going. She was just three of 19 from the field in her last five coming in. Feed down low for Kabiski, layup up and good as the defender went for the steal, and that left Kabiski all alone for the layup. 28-26, Suns by two. Kabiski now with nine points to lead the way for Southeastern. Wyrick gives the high post for Edmondson, out to Bridges. Claudia fakes a three, goes right, gets a pick from Edmondson. Edmondson goes to post up, drive by Bridges, kicks it out top of the key for Shipman. Kaylee Shipman gets a pick from Edmondson, seven to shoot, goes right, to the free throw line, shovels it right elbow for Oglesby, off the window and good from 10 feet away for Jaylee Oglesby as she goes down the right side of the paint and scores 108 to go until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show and the Golden Suns lead 30 to 26. That's about her third bank shot from the right side. She's got that down. 14 first half points for Jaylee Oglesby who today has gone over 700 career points as a Golden Sun. Layup no good for Southeastern's Kabiski. Defensive rebound Arkansas Tech. Suns the other way, Bridges with the basketball, stops on the left wing, goes right, picks up her dribble, 21 to shoot, 39 seconds left in the quarter. Haley Wyrick dribbles top of the key, wants a pick from Edmondson, goes left, gets to the rim, and draws the foul on Macy Bookout. Good job, Haley. She is stepping out today, isn't she? Well, she's showing all of the skills that made her one of the most talented scorers at the high school level in Arkansas high school basketball the last few years at Lake Hamilton High School. Haley probably fits more into the category of scorer as opposed to shooter. Yes. There's, there's a distinction yeah. between those two things. And Haley lately has been trying to lean too much on being a shooter. Today, she's been aggressive in being more of a scorer. She's at the A Better Way Realty free throw line for two shots. As Jaylee Oglesby checks out for the Suns. As does Sarah Edmondson. Alex Hill and Julie Wagner are back in for Arkansas Tech. And Haley Wyrick to the free throw line for the first time today. First try up and no good for Wyrick. She is a 76% free throw shooter this season. She played 16 minutes, did not score against Southeastern Oklahoma State back on January the 5th. She missed them both. Defensive rebound by Grace Alverson of Southeastern Oklahoma State. Into the front court comes the Savage Storm. They can hold for the final shot of the half if that is their will. Riley Moon has it held just above hip high. Alex Hill a close eye on her. Just inside midcourt. Down to 12 seconds left in the second quarter. Kabiski sets a high ball screen. Hill gets over it. Moon dribbles to the right wing. Hill still with her. Five to shoot. Turnaround jumper up and no good. Defensive rebound. Wyrick. Two seconds left. Haley checks the clock. And from 48 feet, it is off to the left. No good. After 20 minutes in Russellville, the score is Arkansas Tech 30, Southeastern Oklahoma State 26. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for three minutes and then come back with the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. This is Golden Suns Basketball.
Also, we also open 930 until 6 Monday through Saturday. Prison was nailed along the border at Georgia. Five police officials were dealt dead. Another young fellow in Savannah, Eli, held to his high heart bracket. He says his friends were not there. His family was not in South Church Utility Center for the Nail Bullet Review to see him. This is the local utility center where Bello began. Let me bring you back to River Valley Tractor on Deer Road and Tractor Bay. Back with you on the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville with the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns leading Southeastern Oklahoma State 30-26. to It is the first of two games here today at Tucker Coliseum coming up at approximately 3 p.m. The Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys will take on a very good Southeastern Oklahoma State Savage Storm men's team. And we are joined by Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech. And coach, as you go through the course of a season, there's always some natural attrition, some guys out of the lineup, and that gives some other guys a chance to step up and play more minutes. Uh, as you go into this next segment of the season, who are some of those guys that you're looking to to really maybe step up and give you a little bit more from a minute standpoint and also from a productivity standpoint? Well, um, you know, the, the, the two freshmen, Trey Allen and, and Jonathan Macera, will probably see a few minutes here and there. And we've been trying to talk to them about, you know, do your job, rebound, defend, you know, offensively take care of the ball and just make the plays that the defense gives you. Um, and those guys are, you know, slowly but surely getting a little bit more minutes. We will add Wes Harris back today for a little time, um, which is great because I didn't know if we were going to get him back at all. So it's nice that he'll be back a little bit today to give us a little bit more depth. Um, but those two guys in general will probably start to see a little bit more time here and there. Um, we still need to, you know, the maturing of Cade Schaefer has got to happen with Calvin Allen being out. And, um, you know, I, I, we put him in some tough spots. But if you remember last time we played, uh, <laughs> he came out and hit four threes. I think that's 17 points. So, um, you know, Cade, Cade's continuing to grow. He's still a young player, too. And, you know, we just, we've got a lot of freshmen and sophomores out there. It's crazy. But uh, hopefully our whole team is maturing a little bit better. And we're getting a little bit more out of each guy each time we play. Yeah, Cade is probably a little more prominent in their scouting report this time than he was no uh, the, la the last time around. The last time around, you did hold Southeastern Oklahoma State uh, below their, well below their season average. They've only been held below 77 points three times this year, and one of them was when the Wonder Boys won in Durant back in January. What are some of the things you see on the film defensively from that game that you need to duplicate here today? Um, you know, just get them in a half-court setting, you know. Um, we want to try to slow them down a little bit and, like you said, play in the 70s and not the not the 90s and 100s. Uh, they've been scoring 100 points on everybody lately. So we've got to do a better – we've got to do a good job again of, uh, first of all, playing great offense, not getting too in a hurry offensively. Uh, we need to break their pressure and then get into a half-court offensive game and run our stuff and execute and don't turn it over. Uh, we still turned it over 22 times at their place. So you know, I keep telling our guys um, they're really prone to be great in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock. And after that, they're just okay. And I just keep saying, man, we need to have a goal with scoring every time we have the ball. And if that means using 29 seconds of the shot clock or 30 seconds of the shot clock, that's what it needs to be. Uh, great shots, paint touch shots. And then that allows us to set up our defense and, um, you know, makes them run offense and play against half-court setting and not just blow it up the court and get layups and wide open threes. So had a lot of experience coaching against this. You know, when West Virginia, after I left you the first time, we saw West Liberty twice a year, sometimes three. And, uh, you know, them and Nova Southeastern are the best in the country at playing that style. So um, I think we're prepared for it. We didn't have as much time this time with just a two-day turnaround. Uh, but I think our guys will be prepared, and we'll play well today. All right, Coach, best of luck. We'll look forward to visiting with you again when it's over. I appreciate it, Sam. Thank you. That is Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech University. We will step aside for three minutes here on the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show 
and then come back with a look at the numbers from the first 20 minutes of this Golden Suns ball game. Arkansas Tech's women lead 30 to 26 back in three minutes. This is Golden Suns basketball. Starting your day with a good old fashioned Catholic story. I can think of Peter Wood saying that Marty Baumgart can't afford serving you and taking you to the rim today. Will you be the one to do that for God? Old South Restaurant is a new treat. Let me welcome them. We're here for you. We're here for you. Come on down, Old South. Homecoming Insurance will grade, remind you when you need new tires or auto repair. Homecoming Insurance offers well trained staff to treat you like family. And their goal is always on customer service. It's the foundation of their business, which is why so many people in the River Valley call Homecoming Insurance their tire shop. Find Homecoming Insurance on Facebook or have their review and call 880 1222 to make an appointment today. Homecoming Insurance, serving the River Valley for over 30 years and counting. Uh, Dr. Blake Newton, Chief Media Bank, reporting with the Financial Institution. Our show remains free to close at any time. Hi, I'm Courtney, business development officer with Simply Media. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our community. This is Dean Brandon Kirkland, uh, the Sheriff of Charlotte. I know and love the River Valley, and while we're always glad to have you with us, we bring you back each week with another great game. Go home. Welcome back to the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville where the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns lead Southeastern Oklahoma State by a score of 30 to 26. Let's take a look at the numbers. Southeastern is 11 of 36 from the field, 31%, including 3 of 14, 21% from three-point range. And the Savage Storm is just one out of four at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech, 12 of 30, 40% 40 from the field overall, including one out of eight from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. And the Golden Suns are five out of eight, 63% at the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Arkansas Tech out rebounding Southeastern 27 to 19. The Savage Storm with six assists and five turnovers. Arkansas Tech with six assists and seven turnovers. Individual leaders for Southeastern, Caitlin Kabiski has nine points, six points off the bench for Macy Bookout. Lauren Scalise has five points for Southeastern, and then Grace Alverson and Briley Moon with three points apiece. Arkansas Tech led per usual by Jaylee Oglesby, 14 points and six rebounds in the first half for Oglesby, six of 11 from the field and two out of two at the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Then it's Haley Wyrick off the bench with six points. Dana Thompson has three points and five rebounds. Kaylee Shipman with three points, two rebounds, and three assists. And Claudia Bridges and Clara Grace Prater have two points apiece for the Golden Suns. Tech leading 30-26 to 26. here with a look at what else is going on around the GAC is Kelly Davis. 
Well, not a whole lot yet. We've got one other game going on right now, and that's over in Searcy, and it is at halftime. The Harding Bisons 28, East Central 19. We have two other games today, but they will begin at 3 o'clock. That is Southwest Oklahoma at UA Monticello and Northwest Oklahoma at Southern Arkansas. And those games begin at 3 o'clock because some of those teams were involved with games yesterday. So Friday, it was kind of an unusual. We had uh, three different games, and we had three sweeps. We had UA Monticello uh, uh, with wins over Northwest Oklahoma, Washita with wins over Oklahoma Baptist, and Southern Nazarene with wins over Henderson State. So with that, that we got some Sunday games as well, and that will be Oklahoma Baptist at Henderson State and Southern Nazarene at Washita. And those games will be at 1 o'clock and 1.30, respectively. So with that, we got some current standings for you. Southern Nazarene still at the top right now, 13-1 and one in conference play, followed by Harding at 12-2. and two. Your Golden Suns at 10-4. and four. Oklahoma Baptist with their loss drops to 9-5. and five. Henderson State, 8-6. and six. At 6-8 six and eight is Washita Baptist in southwest Oklahoma. At five and nine is Southern Arkansas and UA Monticello. At four and ten is Northwest Oklahoma and East Central. And the team we're playing today, Southeast Oklahoma, is currently two and twelve in conference play. That's not all that's going on today, my friends. How about some baseball? How about some softball? I like it. You want to talk about that? I do always. I tell you what, the Golden Suns and Wonder Boys, they got off to a hot start yesterday. Golden Suns take two games yesterday as they defeated Texas A&M International 5-0, and 18th-ranked Angelo State, they defeated them 7-3. And currently right now, they are playing St. Mary's, uh, and they are it's in the second inning. The Suns are trailing 2-1 right now, so we'll keep you posted on that as we go. And then right after that at 3.30, they will play Oklahoma Christian, who is receiving votes in the standings, in the preseason polls. And in baseball, Wonder Boys had a 5-0 to zero lead over Chico State, who is receiving votes currently in the preseason polls. They're down at Minute Maid Park, where the Astros play. It's the Houston Winter in Invitational, and the softball team is playing at UT Tyler in their Winter Classic. So they've got games today. Wonder Boys will play today at 5 o'clock against None other than maybe the number one ranked team currently right now in the preseason poll, and that is North Greenville. So we'll see how they do on, in that game. And then Sunday, they will play Montevallo, an old Gulf South Conference team, yep. at 5 o'clock on Sunday. And they were currently ranked in the preseason poll at number 36. So, And the Suns will play Sunday as well. So we'll keep you posted on those scores if we have time today. And if you'd like to follow live stats from those baseball and softball games, we certainly encourage you to do that at ArkansasTechSports.com. This has been the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show, and we roll right over into the third quarter with Arkansas Tech leading Southeastern Oklahoma State 30-26. to Jaylee Oglesby, Claudia Bridges, Alex Hill, Dana Thompson, and Kaylee Shipman begin the second half for the Golden Suns. Oglesby dribbles to the top. He hands it off to Hill. Southeastern showing some 2-3 zone defense here. Shipman dribbles right. Throws it on the wing for Oglesby. Back out to Shipman, quickly on to Bridges. Claudia will try a three. It is no good from the left wing. Oglesby tries to save the rebound inbounds, but unable to do so. And the basketball belongs to southeastern Oklahoma State. Into the front court on the dribble comes Abby Barr. Barr passes right wing for Lauren Scalise. Scalise had five points in the first half. Now Grace Alverson takes it at the top of the key. Passes right wing for Briley Moon. Moon, bounce pass to the baseline for Barr. Barr's pass is stolen away by Dana Thompson of Arkansas Tech. Southeastern Oklahoma State with the turnover. It is the sixth of the game for the Savage Storm. On the other end, a feed for Shipman, and Kaylee lays it up and in. Five points for Kaylee Shipman. Now 1,284 for her career. She is 12 away from joining the top 20 scorers in Golden Suns history, and she gives Arkansas Tech a 32-26 lead as we go under nine minutes to play in the third quarter. Running bank shot, no good for Scalise. Defensive rebound, Kaylee Shipman of Arkansas Tech. 
ahead on the fast break for Oglesby. On to Alex Hill. Hill dribbles up onto the wing, gives on the baseline for Oglesby, dribbles it off the leg of a defender. Hill able to save it, out to Bridges. Claudia fakes right, goes left, and is called for traveling. Arkansas Tech with its eighth turnover of the game. And it will be Abby Barr to bring it into the front court for Southeastern Oklahoma State. I like that first play. Have Dana come out and play forward and have Kaylee play post. Hey, whatever works. I got an easy layup. I like it. Left side. Caitlin Kabiski with the basketball. Bounce pass to the left baseline for Briley Moon. Out front it goes to Scalise. Shot clock at 17. Now Alverson makes a catch. They swing it left side for Scalise. She tries a three-pointer. It is no good. Offensive rebound, Kabiski. Put back try, rejected by Dana Thompson and rebounded for Arkansas Tech by Claudia Bridges. On the fast break, Alex Hill passed up a three in the corner. Now they feed it into the post for Dana Thompson. Thompson spins, shoots, and was fouled on the turnaround jumper from the left side of the lane. And it'll be two shots from the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Arkansas Tech's Dana Thompson. Didn't get her on the arm, but got a lot of body contact that time. A foul on Caitlin Kabiski of Southeastern Oklahoma State. It is her second personal foul, according to the official stat. Is that what you've got her for, Kelly? I've got her for two. Okay, I like it. Dana Thompson misses the first free throw. She will have another try. The Golden Suns now five out of nine at the free throw line today. The Suns came in tied for eighth in the conference in free throw shooting at 67%, but they've been trending upward throughout the season. As Thompson makes the second one, the Suns came in shooting 74% from the free throw line over their last nine games. That Dana Thompson free throw makes it 33 to 26, Arkansas Tech. Thompson now with four points on the day. On the right baseline, it's Briley Moon for Southeastern. She dribbles out beyond the arc and knocks down the three. Nothing but net from the right wing for Briley Moon, her second three-pointer of the day. The 252nd three-pointer of her illustrious Southeastern Oklahoma State career. And she pulls the Savage Storm within four. Oglesby feeds Thompson. Out it goes left side for Shipman. Three-pointer is short. Oglesby gets the offensive rebound. The putback try is short off the rim. And the rebound is out of bounds off Southeastern Oklahoma State. Yeah, really looking for a foul along with everybody else. Arkansas Tech will maintain possession with 20 on the shot clock. Claudia Bridges will make the inbound pass. Receives the basketball from the official. Here comes Shipman. She makes the catch on the right wing. Throws it out top of the keeper, Thompson. Back to Kaylee. Shipman lobs it down low for Dana Thompson. She draws a double team. Spins, shoots, and scores. Dana Thompson from nine feet in the lane. She's got six points and five rebounds. 7-18 to go in the third. And the Suns are up by a half dozen, 35-29. to Right side, Moon gets a pick from Kabiski. Gives to Grace Alverson. They swing it on for Scalise. Now on to Barr. Bounce pass to Moon, left baseline, defended by Dana Thompson. Skip pass out to Alverson for three good for Grace Alverson. Her second three-pointer of the day, the Savage Storm, five of 17 from downtown. Under seven minutes to go in the third, and the three-pointer slices the Arkansas Tech lead in half at 35-32. Entry for Thompson, turnaround jumper, no good for Dana, but she draws the foul, I believe, again on Kabiski. If it is, it'll be her third. And that's not good news for Southeastern. They absolutely, positively have to have Caitlin Kubiski and Briley Moon on the floor almost all the time in order to function as a unit. Here comes Allie Buchanan in for Southeastern, replacing Kubiski in her three fouls. The official explains to Caitlin what she did wrong to draw that third personal foul. Not sure she liked it anyway. Dana Thompson's first free throw try is no good off the back lip. She'll have another opportunity. Come on, Dana. Dana, two out of five at the free throw line so far today. Trying to make it three out of six right here. She did, nothing but net. 6.46 to go third quarter. Arkansas Tech 36, Southeastern Oklahoma State 32. Briley Moon defended by Alex Hill. Passes left wing, back to Moon. Moon spins, Hill stays in front of her. Pass out to Buchanan. Buchanan knocks down the 15-foot jumper from the left elbow extended, and it's 36-34. Golden Suns by two on Ali Buchanan's first bucket of the day. The first time she has scored since November the 13th. Feed for Oglesby. Gives to Hill. Out to Shipman. Kaylee fakes the three. Drives. Cut off 10 feet away. Buchanan deflects her pass. Kaylee gets it back. Feeds on the baseline for Thompson. Thompson to Oglesby. Stripped away from her by Moon, but Jaylee gets it back and lays it in. 16 points for Jaylee Oglesby. 6.05 to go in the third. And the Suns lead 38-34, but just cannot achieve any separation from this pesky and well-coached Southeastern Oklahoma State ball club. They play tough defense. Alverson top of the key. The thing you've got to mostly hope for here is that Southeastern will eventually get worn down 
by its lack of depth. The Savage Storm along the way this season have lost five players to season-ending injury. Alverson dribbles left, defended by Shipman, steps back for three. It rims out no good. Rebound is out of bounds. Last touched by Abby Barr of Southeastern Oklahoma State. Lauren Beeson returns for the Savage Storm. She will spell Lauren Scalise. So the five on the floor now for Arkansas Tech are Alex Hill, Claudia Bridges, Jaylee Oglesby, Dana Thompson, and Kaylee Shipman. For Southeastern, it's Grace Alverson, Abby Barr, Lauren Beeson, along with Briley Moon and Allie Buchanan. Southeastern in a 2-3 zone. Shipman over it for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Hill, she got fouled on the way back up. No whistle. And Southeastern out of there with the loose ball. Grace Alverson hacked her right across the arm to knock it free. And Moon picked up the loose ball. Should have been a foul. Moon drives into the paint. Off balance. Left-handed shot. No good. Defensive rebound by Dana Thompson of Arkansas Tech. Ahead for Oglesby. Jaylee at the free throw line feeds. Kaylee layup up and good. Kaylee Shipman with the layup. As we go under five minutes to play in the third, Arkansas Tech's lead is back up to six at 40 to 34. Kaylee Shipman with seven points and Jaylee Oglesby with her second assist of the day. She's two for two playing in the post. Barr tries a three. It is no good. Defensive rebound, Dana Thompson. Suns will push it. Chance to add to a six-point lead ahead to Shipman. On the left baseline, finds Thompson cutting to the basket. And Thompson is pushed from behind by Allie Buchanan. Buchanan's second is the team's third. And there's timeout at Tucker Coliseum. 4.36 to go, third quarter. Arkansas Tech 40, Southeastern 34 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a one-minute break plus a station ID. This is Golden Suns Basketball. Arkansas Tech 40, Southeastern Oklahoma State 34, Golden Suns with the basketball. Jackie Rollins is back in along with Haley Wyrick. Jumper from the right baseline up and good by Jaylee Oglesby. She scores from 12 feet away off the inbound pass, and it's 42-34. Arkansas Tech on a 6-0 run to open up an 8-point lead over Southeastern Oklahoma State. For Arkansas Tech, this is the largest lead the Golden Suns have enjoyed all day long, and in fact, it is the largest lead that either side has enjoyed. Now a foul against Arkansas Tech's Jackie Rollins, her second. Team foul number one this quarter. So it's Jackie Rollins, Jaylee Oglesby, Kaylee Shipman, Haley Wyrick, and Anna Myers. Myers is a six-foot-one junior forward from Russellville, appearing in her 65th game as a Golden Sun. Left side, Lauren Beeson, guarded by Oglesby. Draws a double team, throws it out left side for book out. Three-pointer is off to the left. Defensive rebound by Kaylee Shipman. Outlet for Jaylee. Oglesby dribbles to the free throw line, pulls up, 15-footer, good. Jaylee Oglesby, 9 of 15 from the field. She's got 20 points. It is her 13th career game with 20 or more. And with 3.51 to go in the third, the Suns are pulling away. 44-34, Arkansas Tech on an 8 to nothing run. Left side, book out. Southeastern Oklahoma State has missed four consecutive field goal tries. Meanwhile, the Suns have made three in a row. Alverson fakes the three, dribbles left, gets a pick from Buchanan. Drives the left side of the lane. Fadeaway jumper. Alverson gets the bounce. Eight points for Grace Alverson. 327 to go in the third. That stops the 8-0 Arkansas Tech run and cuts the Suns lead 2-8 at 44-36. Rollins passes left wing for Haley Wyrick. Wyrick dribbles right. Gets downhill and then throws it away. Grace Alverson makes the steal for Southeastern Oklahoma State. Savage Storm the other way. Alverson circles around, gives left wing to an open Beeson. Three-pointer good for Lauren Beeson. 
and Coach Dave Wilbers wants a timeout. Three minutes and three seconds to go in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech 44, Southeastern Oklahoma State 39. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball. The Golden Suns entered the day in sole possession of third place in the GAC women's basketball standing. Southeastern came in on an eight-game losing streak. The Savage Storm in last place in the conference, but we're seeing great fight from the Southeastern team. Not surprising given the overall quality of their program. They're just decimated by injuries right now. But Coach Grover does a great job at Southeastern, and not surprising to see them putting up a great fight here today against Arkansas Tech. Golden Suns with the basketball following the timeout. Post-entry feed intended for Dana Thompson goes off the foot of Caitlin Kabiski and out of bounds. And Arkansas Tech will maintain possession with 10 on the shot clock. Following the timeout, Claudia Bridges, Clara Grace Prater, Dana Thompson, Jaylee Oglesby, and Kaylee Shipman are the five on the floor. Shipman gets the inbound pass. Ball goes in the corner for Bridges. Bridges tries to drive baseline, cut off by Bookout. Now she goes into the lane, misses the running eight-footer, and on the rebound, a whistle and a foul, and I believe that's going to be number four on Caitlin Kabiski. And she just undercut Dana that time. It is team foul number four on the Savage Storm, and it is the fourth personal on Kabiski. She will check right back out, replaced by Allie Buchanan. And Claudia Bridges will make the inbound pass with 20 on the shot clock. Coach Grover saw it, and he just said, oh, no, that's going to hurt. Inbound pass top of the key for Clara Grace Prater. Prater dribbles right. Looking down low, good defense by Buchanan to deny the basketball to Dana Thompson. Now Oglesby has it. Bank shot good from an almost impossible angle. Jaylee Oglesby banks it home from the right side, and the Suns lead 46-39. Top of the key, Alverson gives on the right side for Buchanan. 22 points for Jaylee Oglesby. Buchanan from 18 feet, no good. Rebound tipped out, controlled for Southeastern by Briley Moon. Moon drives the baseline, throws it out for Alverson, fakes the three. Alverson goes left. Defended by Shipman, picks up her dribble, throws it out to Beeson. Beeson fakes the three, penetrates, shot blocked by Shipman, rebounded by Dana Thompson. Suns the other way. It's a four on three to Jaylee, to the rim, layup, good! Jaylee Oglesby with 24 points, a minute 47 left in the third, and the Suns are back up by nine, 48 to 39. Macy Bookout dribbles on the right wing. Gives top of the key for Grace Alverson. On to Beeson, now Buchanan left baseline. Buchanan defended by Dana Thompson. Hands it off to Briley Moon. Out it goes to Alverson. Fakes the three. Drives. Running six-footer off the glass. No good. Rebounded for Arkansas Tech by Kaylee Shipman. And the Suns will go the other way with a chance to push their lead back into double digits, a place that has been one time so far today. Now the post-entry feed is stolen away for Southeastern by Buchanan. Maybe seeing a little fatigue setting in. Allie Buchanan making that steal for Southeastern. Now on the other end, Macy Bookout. Drives into the lane, fadeaway jumper from seven feet is no good. Buchanan with the putback try, it is good. Plus a foul, I believe, against Arkansas Tech's Dana Thompson. And it'll be a three-point play opportunity for Allie Buchanan. The foul on Dana Thompson of Arkansas Tech is her second personal foul. Team foul number two. Haley Wyrick is in. Kaylee Shipman is out for the Golden Suns. And Buchanan to the free throw line in search of her fifth point of the afternoon. It is good. What a performance here today by Allie Buchanan, who came in having only scored two points all season. Those coming back all the way on November the 13th. She's got five here today for the Savage Storm, a breakout performance for the freshman forward from Lake Dallas, Texas. Golden Suns lead by six after that three-point play by Buchanan. Feed down low for Dana Thompson. Layup up and good. 
Dana Thompson has nine points and eight rebounds. She's closing in on a double-double. Under 40 seconds to go in the third, and Arkansas Tech leads 50 to 42. Drive by Beeson, scoop shot no good. Oglesby forced the miss, Dana Thompson rebounded it. Suns into the front court. Oglesby to the right wing, now she'll circle around and give to Bridges, and the Suns will hold for the final shot of the third period. Arkansas Tech in this third quarter, 9 of 14, 64% from the field. And they've out-rebounded the Savage Storm by 7 in this period alone. Now a fifth plus 15 rebound margin. Thompson out to Wyrick. Haley fakes the 3, now shoots a long 2, no good. Rebound Buchanan, and that'll be the end of the third quarter. 10 minutes left in Russellville. Arkansas Tech 50, Southeastern Oklahoma State 42. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Golden Suns Basketball. How about a scoreboard update from the one and only Kelly Davis? Well, how about that? It's over in Searcy. There's a minute 20 left in the third period. It is Harding 39, East Central 28. And down in Texas, it is St. Mary's 2, Arkansas Tech, Golden Sun Softball 1. That is in the top of the fourth. Here in Russellville, we head to the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech 50, Southeastern Oklahoma State 42. First half of our doubleheader, men's game coming up at approximately 3 p.m. Riley Moon with the basketball on the left wing. She back came out of her shoe. She was trying to get stomp it in while she was dribbling. They reverse it for Beeson. Beeson drives the right side of the paint. Scoop shot is no good. Julie Wagner got the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Ahead to Claudia Bridges. Bridges, no look pass for Oglesby. Left baseline jumper in and out, no good. Offensive rebound, Julie Wagner. It is tied up by Allie Buchanan of Southeastern and the Golden Suns will maintain possession on the alternating possession arrow. Damn, we can't say it enough, can we? Appreciate all the fans coming out. Good crowd Thursday night and today. Part of that crowd is this pep band. How about them? Absolutely. It's always a little bit more fun when the pep band is in the building at Tucker Coliseum. Glad to have them here along with the spirit squads, of course. And if you're in the Russellville area, you've still got plenty of time to come on out and enjoy the Wonder Boys game coming up at 3 p.m. The Arkansas Tech men could use all the help they could get this afternoon. A supreme challenge from the Southeastern Oklahoma State men. They are really good and really fun to watch are the Savage Storm men. Top of the key, Claudia Bridges. Bridges goes right, gets a pick from Julie Wagner, goes down the right side of the lane, does Bridges, throws it out left corner, pass received by Wyrick, onto Clara Grace. Trader drives, gets Buchanan off balance, and draws the foul. It'll be two shots from the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Arkansas Tech's Clara Grace Prater on the foul on Buchanan. Her third, and it is. And team foul number one this quarter, Clara Grace Prater to the free throw line where she is two out of two so far today. Make it three out of three for Clara Grace. She is a career 76% free throw shooter, had seven points and two rebounds in the win over East Central on Thursday. She got them both. Nine minutes and 10 seconds to go in the fourth. Arkansas Tech leads 52-42. This matches the largest lead so far today for either side. Right side, Grace Alverson, defended by Jaylee Oglesby. Pass to the top of the key for Briley Moon. Reversal for Buchanan. Buchanan dribbles right. Bounce pass to Alverson. Now she gives it up for Moon. Moon's going to try to back Freighter down. Gives it out to Buchanan. 15-foot jumper. Good for Allie Buchanan. She's earning her some playing time, isn't she? Two points all season coming in for Buchanan, and she's got seven today. 8.42 left, and it's 52-44. Golden Suns by eight. Left wing, Bridges, fakes the three, dribbles right. And staying with her was Abby Barr. Now Barr just takes it away from her. 
It's a two-on-one the other way for Southeastern. Barr has it stripped away, and they're going to call a foul against Arkansas Tech's Haley Wyrick. Coach Dave Wilbers felt like it was a clean steal by Wyrick, but the official disagreed, and the foul on Haley Wyrick is her first personal foul, team foul number one in the fourth quarter. Felt like she got too much arm, I think. Inbound for Buchanan, hands it off to Briley Moon. They swing it for Barr. Barr drives the left baseline, and we've got another foul against Arkansas Tech. Whistle way before the shot, and they're going to give, them, give her a continuation there, I guess. Claudia Bridges was called for the foul. That is her first. Team foul number two. Jackie Rollins is in. Claudia Bridges is out for Arkansas Tech. And to the free throw line for Southeastern goes Abby Barr. Barr at the free throw line for the first time today. She is a 71% free throw shooter this season. First try for the left-hander, up and good. Barr did not score, but she had three assists when these two teams met in Durant back in early January. A game the Golden Suns won by a final score of 57-38 to in a similarly low-scoring game here today in Russellville. Both free throws good for Barr, and it's back down to a six-point lead for Arkansas Tech again. Southeastern just will not go away. Lara Grace Prater gives to Rollins. Rollins drives, cut off by Barr, kicks it out to Wyrick for three. It's short. Rebound. Jaylee Oglesby had it, got pushed to the floor, I believe, more or less by our own teammate. And Southeastern came out of there with the loose ball. Into the front court comes the Savage Storm. Moon dribbles left, leaves it out front with Buchanan. Buchanan one bounce and then a pass to Barr. Barr dribbles left. Rollins comes out on her, gives to Alverson. Alverson will back it out all the way near midcourt with 12 on the shot clock. Passes right wing for Barr. Barr defended by Julie Wagner. Cross-court pass for Moon. Briley Moon drives into the paint, running eight-footer up and good for Briley Moon. Eight points for Moon, 7.32 remaining, and the Golden Suns call timeout. Southeastern Oklahoma State on a 6 to nothing run. The score is Arkansas Tech 52, Southeastern 48. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball. Seven minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Southeastern Oklahoma State on a 6-0 run to cut the Arkansas Tech lead to 52-48. The Golden Suns with the basketball. Clara Grace Prater, Kaylee Shipman, Dana Thompson, Jaylee Oglesby, and Haley Wyrick are the five on the floor. Jaylee Oglesby leads all scorers today with 24 points. Shipman passes right wing for Prater. Prater defended by Briley Moon. Bounce pass for Oglesby. Oglesby triple teamed out to Wyrick. Wyrick drives, gets into the lane, gives to Thompson, onto a wide open Shipman, passed up the three, onto Prater for three. It is good! Clara Grace rattles it home from the top of the key. Kaylee just couldn't quite get a clean handle on that pass that was designed for her to shoot the three. Instead, Clara Grace takes it, and she knocks down the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer to give the Golden Suns a 55-48 lead. Now right side, Briley Moon with the basketball for Southeastern. She thought about a three, instead gives it up to book out. Now Alverson with the basketball on the right wing off the dribble. She tries a three. It's good. Grace Alverson with her third three-pointer of the day. 11 points for Alverson. Came in just two of 12 from the field over her last two, but she's been a different player here today. And it's down to a four-point lead for the Suns. Dana Thompson can't get the turnaround in the lane to go. Way short. Defensive rebound. Southeastern Oklahoma State. I think Dana just lost the handle on the way she up. She did. Southeastern back to work offensively. Down by four. Drive by Kabiski, who plays with four fouls, goes to the rim, and a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. Yep. Good foul call. Dana Thompson takes her third personal foul. And 
it sends Caitlin Kabiski to the free throw line, where Kabiski is an uncharacteristic one out of four today. Kabiski came in shooting 81% from the free throw line this season, which ranks eighth in the Great American Conference. Got that announcer jinx. The first of two for Kabiski on its way and good. Kabiski with 10 points. She becomes the second Savage Storm player into double figures today, joining Grace Alverson with 11. The Suns have done a great job defensively on Southeastern's leading scorer, Briley Moon, holding her to eight points on three of 12 shooting from the floor. Kabiski makes the second one. Her first two of this half. And those Limited two, playing time. And those two points cut the Arkansas Tech lead down to two, 55-53. Southeastern Oklahoma State has scored the last five points. Drive by Prater, leaves it out front with Wyrick. Wyrick down the left side of the lane. Turnaround jumper from eight feet up and good. Defender fell down. That left Haley unguarded. And with 5.55 remaining, she scores to give the Golden Suns a 57-53 lead. Haley Wyrick now with eight points on the day. Feed into the post for Kabiski. Left-handed layup, no good. Good job, Dana Thompson, to force the miss. And Haley Wyrick got the defensive board for Arkansas Tech. Now a feed to Dana on the other end, poked away by Kabiski, stolen by Macy Bookout. Southeastern on the fast break, Moon to the rim, layup good for Briley Moon. Ten points for Moon, 528 left, and it's back down to a two-point lead for Arkansas Tech. Kaylee Shipman dribbles to the top of the key, hands it off to Prater. Prater goes left, gives to Wyrick. Wyrick brings it right to the top of the key, lob pass down low for Thompson. Thompson has it stripped away and stolen by Briley Moon. Into the front court comes the Savage Storm. Kabiski to the rim, layup, good, and a foul, and she'll shoot for the lead for Southeastern with 5.04 remaining. The foul on Dana Thompson will be her fourth personal, and Caitlin Kabiski to the free throw line with a chance to give Southeastern Oklahoma State its first lead since it was 10-8 with 5.32 left in the first quarter. Mm, they're just playing aggressive right now in the post play. And they've made five out of their last six field goal tries to tie the score at 57. And now Kabiski, a chance to give the Savage Storm the lead. It's in and out, no good. Defensive rebound by Julie Wagner. The score remains tied at 57. Southeastern Oklahoma State has outscored the Golden Suns 15 to 7 so far in this fourth quarter. Drive by Oglesby, 15-foot jumper off to the left. Moon tries to get the rebound, but it goes off her hand and out of bounds. The basketball will stay with Arkansas Tech. The Suns, two of six from the field in the fourth quarter. Southeastern, five of seven, 71% from the field, and also four out of five at the free throw line here in the fourth period. Golden Suns led by eight at the end of three, but it's, that lead has disappeared. And now before the inbound pass by Claudia Bridges, a whistle and a foul on Southeastern. Grace Alverson, I believe. If so, it'll be her second. That is the case. Only the second team foul, so no free throws yet. Claudia Bridges will make the inbound for the Suns. We are tied at 57 with four minutes and 50 seconds remaining at Tucker Coliseum. Southeastern trying to win at Arkansas Tech for a fifth consecutive time. Drive by Shipman, and it is stolen away on the post-entry feed by Caitlin Kubiski. Unheard of for the Golden Suns to lose five in a row at home to any opponent, and Southeastern bidding to do exactly that. Drive down the baseline by Moon. Feeds book out. Her layup try is no good, but a whistle and a foul. And right now it is Arkansas Tech that looks like the tired team and not Southeastern Oklahoma State. Book yeah, out to the free throw line. Aggressively taking it to the basket and trying to either get the easy layup or a foul. And it's Jay working. Jaylee Ogles be called for her second personal foul. Team foul number five, and so Southeastern will be in the bonus the rest of the way. First free throw up and good for Book out her seventh point of the day, and now Southeastern does have its first lead since midway through the first quarter. Savage Storm 58, Arkansas Tech 57. She makes the second one, and with 4.29 to go, the Golden Suns are down by two. They've been outscored in the fourth by a margin of 17 to 7. Left side, Shipman. Shipman goes right, defended by Kabiski. Shipman drives, eight-footer is short, no good. Defensive rebound by Abby Barr of Southeastern Oklahoma State. Ahead for Bookout. Bookout drives, gets to the rim. He traveled. And they're going to call a foul against Claudia Bridges. Wow. The foul on Bridges will be her second. And it'll be two shots for Bookout. And right now, Southeastern Oklahoma State, by far the more aggressive team. 
The Golden Suns have not helped their business with three turnovers in the last two minutes. First free throw up and good for Bookout. Four minutes and nine seconds left. Southeastern Oklahoma State has scored the last seven points to take this lead. Now Book out a chance to make it eight in a row, which she does. An eight-nothing run for Southeastern Oklahoma State. And with 4.09 remaining, Southeastern Oklahoma State leads 61 to 57. It'll be Claudia Bridges to bring it into the front court. Bridges, Clara Grace Prater, Kaylee Shipman, Dana Thompson, and Jaylee Ogles be the five on the floor. Prater hands it off left wing for Shipman. Shipman looks to drive, gets into the paint, feeds Thompson, layup is good for Dana Thompson. Dana Thompson with 11 points and nine rebounds, 3.53 to go, and the Suns are back within two. They're going to have to get some stops here now. Pass to the right wing for Alverson. That includes not fouling, by the way. Abby Barr throws it out front for Bookout. 16 on the shot clock. Alverson looks at Kabisky in the post, doesn't give it to her, dribbles right, gets to the right elbow, throws it out to Kabisky on the wing now. Kabisky drives on Thompson, spin move, up and under move, layup is no good for Kabisky. Dana Thompson fights for the rebound. Kabisky pokes it away from her out of bounds, and the Suns will get the ball back with 3.26 to go and a chance to tie it with a two or reclaim the lead with a three. Just get a good shot. That's the main thing. Golden Suns overall today shooting 45% from the field. Hand off left wing for Kaylee Shipman, and the defender put two hands on her. Abby Barr called for her second personal foul. Correction, her third, actually. And it'll be the Golden Suns basketball from the far sideline with 3.17 left. And Clara Grace Prater will make the inbound pass. Suns down by two. Arkansas Tech led this game by as many as 10 points on a couple of occasions. Bridges steps back for three, and the lead, it is good! Claudia Bridges with 3.06 remaining, knocks down the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer from the top of the key, and the Suns have scored five in a row to regain the lead at 62-61. Right side Barr, she'll try to answer, and she does. Abby Barr with the three-pointer from the right wing, her first three-pointer of the day, just her ninth of the season, a 17% three-point shooter, and Abby, pa Abby Barr, Put Southeastern in front, 64-62. Drive by Shipman, feeds Thompson, nobody there. She lays it in. Dana Thompson with 13 points. 2.33 to go, and the Suns have tied the score at 64. Get a stop here. Top of the key, Kabisky. Feeds left wing for Bookout. Bookout wants to drive, gets down the baseline, and they're going to call a blocking foul against Arkansas Tech's Jaylee Oglesby. It is Oglesby's third. It is team foul, no, no longer a factor. The Savage Storm already in the bonus. And so book out back to the free throw line where she is four out of four. If memory serves, I believe all four of those attempts have come here in the fourth quarter for Macy book out. First free throw up and good. She is now five out of five from the free throw line in the fourth quarter. She puts Southeastern back in the lead with 221 to go. Second try for book out is good. And a timeout is called by the Savage Storm. They lead 66-64 with 2.21 to go at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We step aside for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Two minutes and 21 seconds remaining. Southeastern Oklahoma State 66, Arkansas Tech 64. Both teams have two timeouts left. If the possession arrow becomes a factor, it will favor the Savage Storm. Southeastern is already in the bonus. The Savage Storm has one foul to give before they put Arkansas Tech into the bonus. Into the front court on the dribble, Claudia Bridges gives left wing for Clara Grace Prater. Now Shipman takes the basketball. Kaylee goes right, gets a pick from Dana Thompson. Now Shipman into the lane, out to Bridges, top of the key. Claudia Bridges, not sure what to do, goes left, passes to Prater. Clara Grace Prater dribbles right, gives to Oglesby, 15-foot jumper. No good, but a whistle and a foul on Grace Alverson, and it'll be two shots from the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Arkansas Tech's Jaylee Oglesby. Jaylee, two out of two at the line today, shooting 85% from the free throw line over her last 11 games. 
She'll have two. First one is good. And the Golden Suns are back within one. Now Oglesby will have a chance to tie the score. It would be our sixth tie of the day to go along with four lead changes, and she's done it. Two Jaylee Oglesby free throws with 2.02 remaining. Tie the score at 66. Broken record. Let's get a stop here. Into the front court comes the Savage Storm. Kobiski feeds left wing for Alverson. Now it's Barr with the basketball. They swing it right side for Alverson. Had an open look at three, didn't take it. Instead, passes to Bookout. Bookout backs Oglesby down, finds Moon cutting to the basket. Moon passed up a reverse layup, which is one of her patented shots. Now Kabiski has it with seven to shoot. Into the lane, spin move, layup, up and good for Caitlin Kabiski. Well, she can use that left arm really you know, uniquely, pushing off, getting away with that. 15 points for Kabiski. Savage Storm by two. Oglesby to answer, and she does. Jaylee knocks it down from the left baseline. She's got 28 points, and the score is tied at 68 with a minute 19 to go. Right side, Barr. Passes to Alverson. Now out to Bookout. Southeastern trying to snap an eight-game losing streak. Hand off for Moon. Moon gives to Alverson. Alverson goes right. Hands it off to Barr. Barr goes left, gets a pick from Kabiski. 12-foot jumper, short, no good. Defensive rebound, Dana Thompson. We go under a minute to play. Score tied at 68 at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Golden Suns trying to maintain their hold on third place in the conference standings. Jaylee Oglesby, bounce pass for Thompson, poked away by Kabiski, stolen by Alverson. Turnover, Arkansas Tech with 45 seconds left. Southeastern can regain the lead. Shot clock at 23, 39 seconds left in overtime, or in regulation, I should say. Alverson dribbles on the right wing, defended by Shipman. They reverse it left side for Barr. Shot clock at 12. Out to Moon. Moon defended by Clara Grace Prater. Gives it up to Alverson. Alverson goes right. Alverson defended by Shipman. Three to shoot. Steps back for a long two and hit it with 18 seconds remaining. Alverson scores. Timeout taken by Southeastern Oklahoma State. 17.8 seconds to go. The Savage Storm leads 70 to 68 on the Grace Alverson jumper at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Seventeen point eight seconds remaining. Southeastern Oklahoma State seventy, and Arkansas Tech sixty-eight. Golden Suns with the basketball. Arkansas Tech will have to go the full length of the floor here because it's Southeastern that called that timeout. Savage Storm has one timeout left. Arkansas Tech has two. Possession arrow would favor Savage Storm on a held ball. Claudia Bridges into the front court. Fifteen seconds left. Suns down by two. Give to Oglesby. Jaylee dribbles right. Feeds it for Thompson on a pick and roll. Layup is no good. Rebound, Southeastern, eight seconds left. And the Golden Suns foul, Caitlin Kubiski. Arkansas Tech got exactly what it wanted, and the Dana Thompson layup just would not go down. And now Southeastern to the other end for two free throws with 6.7 seconds left and a chance to make it a two-possession game. The shooter will be Caitlin Kubiski. As we mentioned, an 81% free throw shooter on the year, but just three out of seven from the line today. She needs them both to make it a two possession game. First free throw for Kabiski is good. She will have one more. This is the big one. If she makes it, it's a two possession game with 6.7 seconds left. The second free throw for Caitlin Kabiski is good. Savage Storm leads 72 68. Timeout Arkansas Tech. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Golden Suns basketball. Six point seven seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Southeastern Oklahoma State seventy-two, Arkansas Tech sixty-eight. It was tied at sixty-eight with under a minute to go. Grace Alverson 
with that tough step back three from just left of center at the top of the key, a long two-pointer for Alverson, that step back two, and that made it 70 to 68. And then Caitlin Kubiski with a pair of clutch free throws to give the Savage Storm a four-point lead. Now it's desperation time for the Suns, down by four with 6.7 to go, inbound for Bridges. This is taking too much time. She will fire up a three. It is short, no good. The rebound is out of bounds. The basketball to southeastern Oklahoma State, and the Savage Storm will end its eight-game losing streak here today. They call timeout, and we will step aside for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Southeastern will inbound the basketball. The final 1.1 seconds will elapse, and the Savage Storm will come away with an upset win here today over Arkansas Tech. They feed it for Moon. Moon goes to the, lay, to the rim, misses the layup, and so our final score is Southeastern Oklahoma State 72, Arkansas Tech 68. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute and then come back to talk it over with Coach Wilbur's Wonder Boys coming up at around 3 p.m. Golden Suns lose. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Back at Tucker Coliseum, we are joined by Dave Wilbers, head coach of the Golden Suns. And coach, we saw Southeastern Oklahoma State execute offensively in the fourth quarter on a level they haven't really been able to do all season long. They were 8 of 12 from the field in that fourth quarter. They were 12 of 13 at the free throw line in the fourth quarter. And really, that was the difference. And that's just a credit to Coach Grover and the way that he's kept that team going. Yeah, they just outplayed us in the fourth quarter. And, you know, we get a 10-point lead, and we can't expand our lead, you know, by just really some bad turnovers. You know, we just really threw the ball right to the other team. And, uh, you know, there's no defense of that. I mean, when you're throwing it to the other team. And, um, you know, just credit them. They, they outplayed us the fourth quarter, and they deserve to win the game. Now a really tough stretch coming up of, of three straight road games. And, and to a certain extent, this will kind of help define the position going into the conference tournament, which is now we're just three weeks away now from the end of the regular season. And so it's really kind of now down to the, the crunch time of the season. And these, these next three will go a long way in telling the story of the season. Yeah, I mean, they're the three probably be better teams in the league. Got to go on the road. We've been a good road team. So, yep. you know, hopefully we can keep that up. But uh, we got to get some players playing better. You know, we've had two or three players just not playing as good as what they're capable of. And, uh, you know, we can get some good practice in and, you know, get ready to play on the road. All right, all right see you in Shawnee, Coach. All right, thanks, Sam. That is Dave Wilbers, the head women's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech University, following a 72-68 to home loss here today for southeastern Oklahoma State. I may have to go back and do some research on this. I'm not sure any opponent has ever come to Tucker Coliseum and won five consecutive road games over the Golden Suns. Arkansas Tech has won 89% of its all-time home women's basketball games, and I cannot imagine any single opponent has come here and won five straight but Southeastern Oklahoma State has achieved that today with a 72-68 win over Arkansas Tech. And in so doing, the Savage Storm snaps its eight-game losing streak. They came in averaging just 52.5 points per game over that eight-game losing streak. But the Savage Storm executed offensively on an entirely different level here today. And the Savage Storm wins it 72-68. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we will pause for two minutes and then come back with a look at the numbers. Golden Suns lose, Wonder Boys in 20 minutes. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. 